Hey, this is Danny and I'm going to show you how you can hide or show an element using JavaScript. I'm going to use VS Code because VS Code comes with built-in JavaScript support and I've created a file and named it jstutorial.html. So I'm just going to be using Emmet for autocomplete now. I'm just going to type in HTML and hit enter. Emmet is going to complete that for me. Now I'm going to create a division and I'm going to give this div an ID and I'm going to call this div1 and I'm just going to type in this is a div so that's going to be the content inside my div now i'm going to go ahead and style this div i'm just going to go into my head section here and create a style element and i'm just going to define a few styles for my div now so the name of my div would be hashtag div1 that's how i'm going to reference it and this is going to be followed by an opening and a closing bracket and i'm going to define a style here that says background and i'm just going to give this a color of light blue and i'm going to give this some padding in this case i'm just going to give it 50 pixels and uh, when you go into my web page and I hit refresh, you can see there's a small div that gets created with a padding of 50 pixels with the content this is a div inside it. I'm now going to create a button such that clicking that button is either going to show or hide the div. So if the div is already hidden, that button is going to cause the div to show itself on the screen. If that div is already on the screen, it's going to hide that div. So I'm going to create a button using the button element. And I'm going to give this a value of toggle. Now we're going to have to specify an attribute for the button element called the onClick attribute. So what the onClick attribute does is when the button is clicked, it would call a JavaScript function. And the name of this JavaScript function would be toggle. So when we hit that button, it's going to call the JavaScript function named toggle. And we're going to write some JavaScript code in here. And I'm going to create a function. And I'm going to call this function toggle. So we've got to create a variable and we're just going to call this variable x and we're going to have to assign our div to this variable x. So to do that, I'm going to write document.getElementById and we're going to have to write the id of our div here. In this case, it's div1. So this is going to take div1 and assign it to the variable x. Now we're going to have to use this variable x to check if x is visible or hidden on the page. So I'm going to use an if statement for that and I'm going to type x.style dot display and we're going to check if this has been set to none if this has been set to none it means that division will not show up on the page so if it has been set to none we have to show that element on the page so in order to do that i'm going to type x dot style dot display is equal to and i'm going to give this a value of block so block will basically take that division and cause it to show up on our web page in case that element is already on our web page we're going to have to hide it so to do that, we would just type else and we would type in the line x.style.display and we're going to set this to none. So that's the only JavaScript code that you would need in order to create that button and have it toggle. So I'm going to go into my web page and hit refresh and as you can see there's a small button. Now clicking that button is going to take that div and hide it, just like that. And now clicking it again is going to cause it to appear. So that's pretty much how a div can be hidden or shown using JavaScript. You don't have to create a toggle element. You can use any of these statements on their own to either show or hide a div depending on your use case. So that's pretty much it. If you like the video, you can hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.